Good. Thank mm-hmm. you. 
that uses sheet music. So in addition to learning all the names of the notes on their instrument, they're also learning how to read those notes in sheet music. I'm very proud of how quickly they've picked all of this up, and I hope you enjoy the square dance.
that we normally do not feature individual sections of the orchestra at these concerts. However, um, this is sort of a special group, very dear to my heart. Um, we have don't really accept new wind players, meaning instruments that you blow with your mouth, like trumpet, trombone, clarinet, and flute, um, at the orchestra explorer level. However, we didn't have any trombones in our symphony, and well, we went wrong from somewhere. So we did actually start three amazing young trombone students, and our incredible um, trombone teacher, uh, Mr. Hugo Sedra, is, is not able to be with us tonight. He's got a performance downtown. Um, and so we're so happy to have Carlos Andres Guzman uh, filling in, who has played with us before. We're very happy to have you with us. So, um, just because of, due to the special nature of uh, these, these young musicians, we wanted to feature them. Um, they are also going to be playing with our symphony orchestra in a few moments. And these young musicians just started playing their instruments in late October. So we're very proud of them. We're very happy for them. And we love hearing them on our concerts. Please enjoy our trombone section playing lightly rough. Six hours a week is a lot. It feels like a lot sometimes. Uh, 
Um, so this is a real commitment, especially for our younger musicians. And we're grateful to your support for helping them practice their music at home, uh, for asking me questions uh, when you need to know more information. Uh, we're, we're always here to, to open that line of communication and to uh, be transparent. And uh, thank you for all of your support and all of your work. Thank you so much. Um, Mr. Gabor is here. We do have someone in the audience. Principal Gabor, we've had this partnership here at Grand Line School for, we're in our ninth year now. And uh, we've been through a lot together at Shymock and Grand Line. So thank you so much for all that you've done for us, Mr. Gabor, uh, as well as the rest of the staff here. Uh, I see Mr. Lugo out there. I'm thanking you, Mr. Lugo. <laughs> Mr. Jose Lugo is our head of security here at Grand Line. And, uh, always looking to go above and beyond for everything you need. So thank you, Mr. Lugo. Uh, thank you, Mr. Perez, Mr. Jackson, um, the assistant principals. Thank you for everyone that works in the office, uh, the copy ladies, and uh, of course, Ms. Pearsall and Ms. Todd, our incredible new teachers here at the school, uh, which we have a great relationship with and a great partnership with. Thank you to all of you. I do want to thank we we all know this pandemic has been crazy everywhere and um, there's been frontline workers every step of the way uh, sacrificing so much to keep us all safe and, and keep our lives uh, as, as comfortable as possible and while it might not compare exactly um, we do have our own essential workers here at Shine Mountain, and those are our teaching artists. And uh, they've been through an awful lot this year. It has been, this work is never easy, ever, in the best of circumstances. And this year has been by far our hardest year in our nine years. And it's, um, I'm just so grateful to all of our teaching artists. Um, I'm wondering if student musicians and both orchestra explorers and Cindy if you would indulge me, our teaching artists, including Frida and including Jocelyn, if you could stand up and would you all give please a round of applause for it? Very special time. And what Mr. Medea has done. 
done by keeping you practicing online last year, online this year, in front of you, uh, getting all the wonderful, talented musicians to come in. This Monday and Tuesday, we think we had guests from all over the country, correct, right? Uh, to come in and see the program. These are very special events. Not everybody understands them. Not everybody understands how special the experience is. I understand how special the experience is. You're being given a very special, unique experience. It does not happen. You have members from the Chicago City Orchestra come and perform, perform for you. You have people from universities come and speak to you and play for you. You have professional musicians work with you. The gentleman here, Joe, right? And, uh, yeah, all the great talented people that I that, that my name the name to me, but the point is, they're very special. You and treat them with, with the best respect you can because it's this very special program. So don't ever forget it. All right, it's going to help you for the rest of your life. So let's give it to the day uh, a round of applause. <laughs>
Uh, this is by a Nigerian composer named Godwin Sejo. And uh, we found it out of a book of music compiled by violinist Rachel Barton Pine called Music by Black Composers. And uh, we were very happy to find this piece. We had some violin students during the pandemic, during the lockdown, uh, perform this virtually as an event. And uh, we have repurposed it as an orchestral arrangement. And uh, I know Mr. Sado has um, since also repurposed his original arrangement and is coming out with an orchestra version of it as well, if I'm not mistaken. So uh, we thank you for uh, this beautiful music and we hope that we do it justice. This is Mother is a Priceless Jewel.
Thank you, Mr. Kapoor and everybody here at Mary Lyon. Thank you, parents, for watching. We hope you enjoyed the performance. And we look forward to getting you back in this building with us, hopefully for our spring concert in May. Thank you, everybody.